looked like that was ever going to stick. No, not a hero. A grown-up, unlike the whiny bitch I used to be. But, you know, that's okay. I accept who I was. I accept you. Oh, spare me the bullshit. You're lying to yourself. You don't want anything to do with me. I'm ready to embrace who I was. Who I am. Who I will be. Oh yeah? And... And who is that? Decision point. The choice will have major consequences for the story and the gameplay. Uh... I don't want to know what other people did. <laughs> uh, I'm not. I'm kind of afraid if I put, put, you know, pick left or right, it is automatically going to pick. Uh, I'm gonna pick with what might be. I used to know okay, where I'm still doing that. supposed to be heading, but I'm not sure that's where I want to go next. And that's fine. I'm ready for a change. I used to know exactly what I wanted to do with my life certainty in that. I don't know why I lost faith in who I was and who I wanted to be, but it's time to find my way back. I used okay, to know where my life be. was. I don't know you. You're a part of me now. You always will be. We need each other. Come on. Life's waiting out there. Let's find out what's happening. My name is Zoe Castillo, and I'm alive. Good evening, Warden. How do your prisoners fare? Commander, all is well. If you like, I could show I'm you... I'm not here to inspect your prison, Warden. I'm here to speak about one prisoner. Ah, your apostles. Alvane. He's an apostle no more. He was a tool, but he lost his edge. He's no longer of any use to us. No. It's time we put all of this behind us. Would you care to translate, Commander? I'm afraid my ability to read between the lines is somewhat lacking. We want Kian Alvane's execution to be... hastened. I see. I, I thought your six would need to judge and condemn Alvane before... When did you become an expert on Azadi law, Warden? Well, I'm not, sir, but... We have laws and regulations of our own, Commander. I was told that Kian Alvani would be sent to Sadia to and stand. I am telling you to carry out his sentence tonight. What? Uh, uh, impossible. Uh, I, I need to call in the executioner. How soon? Uh, well, by first light, at the earliest. But still. First light, then. But what about the paperwork? I mean, the proper documents signed and stamped. This goes one of two ways, Warden. Either you do what you're told, and execute Kian Alvani by first light. Or you find yourself hanging right next to him when the sun kisses the top of Friar's Keep tomorrow morning. How it plays out is entirely up to you. You have your orders, Warden. She held me close one night and sang an old song from her country. 
I don't remember the melody, but I remember the words. Sleep, child, sleep. Sleep in your mother's heart. Let the wind blow and the rain fall. Hear the executioner's call. Watch the traitor's head roll as the shadow takes his soul. Sleep, child, sleep. We shall never part. For we will soon be free. Together forever in the cold, cold sea. Ah, Alvani, you are here. Good. I hear you uh, have turned down your last meal. Hmm, pity. I personally approve the menu. There were uh, <clears throat> sausages. Why would the warden come to visit me now? What could he possibly want? Yeah, what would he want? If you've come to see me beg for my life, Warden, you won't... Oh, no, uh, no, 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 no. You're a rational pragmatist, Alvani, quite like myself. No, I am merely here to ensure that you are prepared for hmm, the next step. As you know, your execution will take place at dawn. I have to hmm, admit that I'm, I'm curious why, after so long, there's such a sudden rush to see you dead. Very curious. But, uh, <clears throat> that's not why I'm here, no. As you also know, you have the choice between hanging and beheading. As far as I can tell, you have yet to, um, voice a preference. If you forfeit this choice, it'll be left to me to decide the, uh, <clears throat> instrument of death. I simply want to ensure we dotted every I and crossed every T. That's just what does it matter? matter? Death is death, and I'm ready to embrace my own. I have nothing more to say to this man, or to anyone. Quite. But then I shall make that choice. <clears throat> Do you have no family, Alvani? My family is very important to me, almost as important as my duty to this city and this office. In the event of my own death, it would pain me to know that they would be left with no answers. No body to bury. No closure. I, I know you're a man of faith, a man of principle. I also understand that things happen to hmm, make you question your calling. What I do not understand is why you've um, <clears throat> simply decided to give up. To, um, to stop fighting. How can he understand? How can anyone? To have everything you believe in fall to pieces. To be asked to continue a war that you have no faith in. By commanders that you can no longer trust. I, I think this guy with the ridiculously big nose is trying to help us. So I think we should try and communicate. But I kind of expect him to also start yelling at him. But let's see if it works. You would not understand. Try me, Alvani. You may come to see that we're more alike than you thought. No. I have no family. No country. Nothing to fight for. So leave me be. And let me prepare for death in peace. Very well. Everything has been uh, properly filed. I have no reason to question the order of execution. Even threatened me with dismissal and worse should I stand in the way of their orders. They don't know me very well. Threats mean nothing. Proper paperwork, on the other hand. I will simply have to <clears throat> accept that my questions will remain forever unanswered. I shall see you at first light, Alvani. The noose will be ready for you. Let's get a move on. 
What's going on down there? That boy is a major order riot. We're getting you out of here. Who are you? Do I know you? I bloody well hope so. You were this close to running me through with your sword. What? A swamp city? Precisely. Where I made a daring, swashbuckling last minute escape. And you were arrested by your own commander. Quite a day, eh? If you're with the Resistance, why are you helping me escape? So that you can repay your debt and help free our city. In the meantime, we need a bloody key to get through this bloody gate. We will need a key to open this gate. Well, let's go find a key then. We still don't have a key, boy. Hey! He's hey. still breathing. Help me! I've seen him around the prison. I don't think he's been here that long. And I don't think he's long for this world. He looks badly hurt. I don't think he'll survive long. He might know how to get out of here. I don't think... Do you know how to get through that gate? The guard. He... <coughs> he, he, he has a key. In his pocket. There no, must be something we can do for him. Is there anything I can do for you? Anything at all? My... <coughs> my family. Tell them. Tell them what happened to me. Tell them I love them very much. And that... <coughs> my children. Tell them they make me proud. I have to promise. I promise. They live in the bones. My name is Stott. Arn Stott. Thank you. I can kill him swiftly. A warrior's death. Or leave him for the guards to torture. He can't walk. All we can do is leave him here. And hope the goddess makes his death swift and painless. Kill me. It appears to be a gate Please. key. It probably unlocks this first Please gate. Kill me. Please. <coughs> Please kill me. This is an innocent man. I can't simply murder him. I, I'm sorry. I cannot do that. I have sworn to spare the innocent. I, <coughs> I understand. Go. Before they come. Hmm. I think it's especially weird because they, you know, tell you that he will remember this. So he most of the prisoners will survive still somehow, key. Right? I have no time to spare, and no desire to let all these prisoners loose. It's a heavy key, fashioned from iron. It fits the locked gate on this floor. Okay, let's just go and do that. We just leave him like that? I can't murder an innocent man. We have different keys for every fool. So you might as well leave that one in the lock. Follow me, boy. We're going up, not down. It's not like we can go down, but sure. The riot is growing. Moving upwards. Closer. Ever we upwards. Need to keep moving up. Find a way out before the keep becomes smoking rubble. So I wonder where we're going, because I assume this is What did you tower. mean, repay a debt? You damn near wiped us out, boy. Your last minute reversal didn't help save anyone, aside from your own soul, mayhem. And now is your chance of repentance. I don't want repentance. I'm ready to die for my crimes. Why don't you just leave me here? You may be ready to die, Kian, but the resistance certainly isn't. And we need you. Now, find a way to open this bloody door. I assume he means this door. So many barrels. Do they net the slop we eat three times a day arrives in these barrels? The stench makes me sick. Locked. The right.